Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I'm going to go over the iOS 12 wishlist uh, according to Mac Rumors and Mac Rumors readers. Uh, so I have not actually gone through this yet. I just thought this would be a fun video to kind of go through together uh, and see what they thought of and if I agree with any of it or if I think any of it's actually going to happen. So uh, up here, if I go to MacRumors.com, you can see the WWDC keynote is in 12 days, 16 hours and 47 minutes. Uh, so it's coming up quick. And uh, so let's go over some of these features because we know iOS 12 will be released at WWDC. It always is uh, the next version of iOS. So let's scroll down here. Let's just get to the good stuff. Uh, user interface changes, dark mode. Unsurprisingly, a system-wide dark mode for iOS is one of the most hoped for features in iOS 12, just as it was in iOS 11 and 10. Apple users have wanted a true dark mode for years, but there's no word on it coming in iOS 12. Uh, we have not seen any rumors on this. Um, I mean, that smart invert is pretty close, but if Apple just, you know, sat down for a couple weeks, put some designers together, they could get this done uh, for a system-wide change. And I think everyone would be happy about that, especially those of us with the iPhone 10 with the OLED screens, uh, a dark mode would be awesome, especially at night. So scrolling down just a bit here, this is a concept by the way, not legit, obviously. You can kind of tell it's not legit, but whatever. Okay, so split screen mode for iPhone. The option to run two apps side by side, I'm sure you guys know what this is. If you've ever seen uh, anyone with an Android phone, I've never seen anyone actually using it, but they always brag about it. So whatever, split screen mode for iPhone. Personally, I probably would not use that, but uh, it would be pretty cool. More customization. Uh, someone would like to see Apple add Android like customization options, such as the ability to change background and messages. Ugh, I don't like that. I hate when I see that like in WhatsApp or whatever the, um, the app is that most Android people use. Um, it just looks really bad in my opinion to change the background, but whatever personal preference, adjust the SMS bubble colors or add a theme to the OS to shift the color. So by OS, I'm assuming they mean the entire operating system. That would be kind of cool. Uh, again, a little bit, uh, I don't know. It's not something I want, but I could totally see a lot of people wanting that desktop mode on some Android devices. There's a feature where you can dock a smartphone and use it as a desktop machine. Honestly, not a big deal to me. I don't really see the use of that, but to each their own volume redesign. This has to happen in iOS 12. This has to happen. Apple has to get rid of this annoying volume HUD. Like seriously, this HUD is so annoying. Get rid of it, put it at the top, make it smaller, get it the fuck out of the middle of my screen, please. Thank you. Next, improved battery widget. Uh, the battery widget could be improved by allowing all of a user's devices to be displayed for quick cross uh, device battery checks. Now, I think they could improve the battery icon and put the percentage inside of it. Uh, I think that would be a neat way to use the space up there, uh, but the battery widget, I don't really look at that much anyway. No more shake to undo. Uh, eh, it's not really that big of a deal. Actually, sometimes I really like this. Uh, if I'm typing a huge message and I make a mistake or I just want to delete the whole thing, um, it's nice to have. App improvements, camera controls in the camera app. Yes, please do that. We've been asking for that for so long. Just do it, Apple. Aspect ratio in camera app, that would be nice as well. FaceTime, group FaceTime, uh, that would be awesome. But I think someone said, I, I heard somewhere that there's actually a patent out for this or something like that where Apple can't do group FaceTime. I don't know if it's because of Skype or what it is, but there was a reason that Apple hasn't done this. Um, not sure what that was, but group FaceTime would be really cool. Not sure I'd ever use it. Eh, I could see a few situations would be pretty cool, but um, nonetheless, be nice to have. App Store wishlist. Uh, yeah, they uh, kind of removed those from the freaking uh, App Store and that was actually really nice. I had a bunch of stuff in there. So uh, that sucked that they took that away, give it back and put all the apps that I had saved back in there. Photos improvements, Mac rumors, reader, whatever is hoping for a major overhaul to the photos app with more functionality. Honestly, there's a lot of functionality already in it. It's just hidden. A lot of people don't know it's there. Uh, music app overhaul. Uh, I hate the music app. Uh, I think it looks like trash. That's why I don't use it. Uh, messages search and archive, a more robust search feature for the messages app would be a welcome change. Yes, that would be awesome. Uh, as would an option to archive messages, news messages. Yes, very true. iPad, mouse support on iPad. I know one of you viewers always comments about the freaking iPads and mouse support. Uh, I forget who you, who you are, but I'm sure you're going to comment on this if you see it. Yes, uh, that would be pretty cool, but I don't think it'll happen. iPhone apps for iPad. Uh, yeah. Weather, calculator, health, activity are missing from iPad. That's pretty funny, no calculator. But come on, where would they put the, the calculator? Like, how would they do that? Is it just gonna be an enormous freaking thing? Like, I don't know. I think that's why they didn't do it. It would just look ridiculous. Settings and system-wide features, revamped Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggles. Uh, I wish that they would actually do this and change it to where if you press the freaking Wi-Fi button, it turns off your Wi-Fi. 
Why can't it do that? Why does it disconnect? That is so stupid. No one wants that. Change it back to how it was. If I click that button, that Wi-Fi button, turn off my Wi-Fi. If I click it back on, turn it back on and connect it to the same freaking Wi-Fi I was on when I turned it off. How about that? So easy. And also if you 3D touch on it, how about then you give the option uh, of just disconnecting? How about that? That would be great. Apple, take note. I should be one of your lead engineers. I mean, come on. I just looked at this for two seconds and figured that one out. Come on guys. All right. Do not disturb improvements. Uh, honestly, D and D is pretty uh, archaic. I don't use it. Uh, as a lot of you probably know, if you watch my video on wireless charging and my phone falling off of the wireless charger, uh, all you guys say, turn on, do not disturb. No, do not disturb is not that good. All right. Biometric locking for specific apps. That would be sick. Definitely something that would be nice. I used that a long time ago when I jailbroke my phone. That is a cool feature to have. Um, that'd be cool. Let's do that. iCloud notifications. If you have multiple devices and get a notification from an app like Apple news, it goes to all of your devices. instead of just one and viewing the notification on just one device doesn't clear it from all of them. If Apple implemented iCloud notifications, notifications would work smoothly across devices appearing on just one device and clearing on all. It's a lot to read, but it makes sense. That would be kind of cool. Uh, of course, it's more app, more information in the cloud. I don't know about that, uh, especially like iMessages and iCloud that's coming in iOS 11.4. I'm not doing it, but to each their own. iPhone 10 always on display for iPhone 10. That would be so cool. And on top of this, I want to take this one step further where I don't think they said anything about it. No, not really. How about little dot icons on the OLED screens on the iPhone 10 for notifications? Not necessarily always on, but just little dots instead of like, you know how uh, Android phones have those really tacky LEDs that just blink at you uh, when you get stuff. Not like that. Those, those look dumb, but just a dot on the screen, on the display where it's all black, except a tiny little dot. That would be awesome. And you could customize them. That would be so sick. Apple, please do that. AI Siri, of course, Siri sucks. So that's pretty much it. Yes. Dark mode. Everyone wants dark mode. Do that. Um, yeah. So those are the main features. What do you guys want to see in iOS 12? Uh, I'm really excited for it. Although Apple said that they are cutting back on some of the features. They're just kind of smooth out iOS for us. Uh, I'm totally for that. I mean, iOS 11 has not been super terrible for me, but it hasn't been the greatest either. So 12, if they can iron out some of the bugs, that would be much appreciated. Uh, and give us some cool new features like a dark mode and stuff like that. So let me know your guys' thoughts down below in the comments. I will be reading pretty much all of them unless this video blows up for whatever reason, uh, like that one time my other video did and I seriously struggled to reply to everyone's like 3000 comments in two days. Crazy, but leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Peace.